Well, Alan, perfect start to 2018, a uh, 2-0 win over your local rivals. Delighted, really good performance, some really good goals as well, some of the attacking play was outstanding, the work rate, the desire to win, um, so it was great performance. One of my colleagues in the commentary team came up with a stat that that's the first time the Pars have beaten Falkirk twice in the league since the mid-70s, but uh, you, you would have expected them to come back at you, and, and they did, but you, you held it. No, I thought we, we were really threatening for the game. Obviously, they were pushing players forward at the end, trying to get a goal. Uh, I thought we defended really well. There were some outstanding performances. Obviously, uh, Big John's not been playing much this season, um, but it shows you the type of character he has that he came in and put in a performance like that. I thought he was outstanding. Uh, Lee Robinson, only signed yesterday. Had a lot of important saves, came for crosses, um, and it looks as though he's going to be a big player for us. Um, but throughout the whole team, I thought there was a lot of good performances. Up front, uh, Declan McManus and Nicky Clark thought caused them all sorts of problems. And obviously it was good to score a couple of really well worked goals. Obviously the, the signing of Lee Robinson's an important one because of the injury to Sean Murdoch. You, any hesitation about bringing him straight in or you had confidence he could do the job? He was in training yesterday and he's always in really good condition. Um, I obviously had him at Queen of the South before and he was probably the fittest player there. Um, that's just the type of character he is, um, but you're always a wee bit worried that he's not played a lot of game time recently, but you can see the performance he put in today, I thought he was really good. As you say, a change in the back four in front as well, but Big John did his job, and does that give you a selection problem for oh, next definitely. week? Definitely, um, I thought the whole team played really well today, they worked incredibly hard for each other, passed the ball, created chances, and obviously the, the couple of goals we scored were really well worked as well. Start of the transfer window, you've already made one important signing. Is there mm -hmm. more activity to be expected? There is over the month, we've just got to be patient. Uh, we're trying to get players in. Uh, you can see we are still short in numbers. Uh, today we're obviously one short on the bench. Um, so we do need to bring in players for that wee bit of competition because you're going to have suspensions, because the bookings are mounting up. You're going to have uh, injuries, sometimes that harms. Um, we need to be able to cope with that. You, you mentioned bookings today, no sendings off, thankfully. It was always going to be a, a tasty encounter, but uh, no real complaints about any of the referees' decisions, I take. No, I thought the referee was really good. You can see he's one of the top referees in Scotland, handled the game, no problem at all, um, and it's a big derby. Um, the fans get right behind the team. It was a brilliant atmosphere today, um, so I'm just delighted to got the win for them. Yeah, big home support behind the team and obviously you want to keep that going for the rest of the season. Oh, it makes a massive difference. I mean, you hear an atmosphere like that, it's intimidating for the opposition to come and play. Um, and it spurs our boys on, so it was brilliant and I'm sure they're going to work uh, happy tomorrow. Different type of game coming up on Saturday against Dumbarton, but you'll be taking that just as seriously. It's a hard game, they make it difficult, especially there. They'll sit in and frustrate us. We've got to be patient, but you can see with some of the play today, I thought it was outstanding, some of the play today, some of the passing, some of the movement, and hopefully we can get a few more goals.